The NBA might be known for its talented players, but it's also known for their haircuts. What matters the most is obviously an athlete's talent, but some haircuts are so bad it makes you wonder why they even made that decision in the first place. While we don't want to pick on every small detail, there are some hairstyles that we just can't forget. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 worst haircuts in NBA history. Starting off with number 10, Pau Gasol. No hairstyle is safe from being criticized, so Pau Gasol is just as guilty as anyone else. Even if we could ignore Gasol's wild mop of hair that seems to have landed on top of his head, we can't ignore the fact that his beard is just as wild and long. Sure, this style must be working for him, but a little grooming never harmed anyone. We're sure that if he uses a brush properly, he might just be able to tame his hair and make it a little decent. If you get really close, you can see that Gasol's mountain man hairstyle is even holding some leftovers from his dinner. That's gross. At number 9, we have Steve Nash. Steve Nash has a sharp sense of passing that can't be matched, but it's too bad he's not even a tenth as good at hairstyles as he is at setting trends. This probably doesn't need to be said. Nash's time with the Phoenix Suns was one that'll be remembered. His best NBA season might have been 2006-2007. He averaged 18.6 points, 3.5 rebounds, and 11.6 assists during that season. He's a true playmaker in the best way possible. Could his great play on the court back then have had something to do with how he styled his hair? Nash's long hair, which was parted in the middle, will always remind us of him. Fans were just as amazed by how well he played as they were when he tried to fix his hair in the middle of a game. Hey, that's some talent both on and off the court, so we gotta appreciate it. At number 8, Anderson Verajao. Anderson Verajao has shown some promise on the court, but he hasn't done anything to show that he can take care of his on hair. Verajao's hair moves all over the place as he moves up and down the court, making it hard for him to see because of how bad his haircut is. Still, there's a bright side. To play defense well, all Verajao has to do is violently shake his head back and forth. This will most likely cause an opposing player to lose an eye and with it, the ball. If you can make something like your hairstyle improve your ball game, then what works, works. Not saying that his hairstyle couldn't be improved, but he could just make the most of what he's decided to sport for the moment. Moving on to number 7, Chris Anderson. Once you get past all of Chris Anderson's tattoos, his bad temper, and his flamboyant behavior on the court, you can see that he's just an athlete with a really strange head of hair. Imagine someone screaming at you with their mohawk slicing through the air. It'd be pretty hard to take them seriously. Your eyes wouldn't move below their forehead. His spiky mohawk, along with the colorful neck tattoos, give him appearance of a cartoon character. In all honesty, Anderson's annoying mohawk looks like it has too much gel on it that if the ball landed on it, it would pop right away. On the positive side, Anderson has kept the got-to-be hair products line going almost all by himself. We're positive that there isn't anyone out there who uses more of their products than him. At number 6, Dwayne Shinsis. Most basketball fans think of only one thing when they hear the name Dwayne Shinsis, mullet. The San Antonio Spurs picked him up in the first round of the draft in 1990. He wore this hairstyle for a portion of his eight-year NBA career before he quit in 1999. He didn't leave without making an impression on everyone with his hair. Dwayne Shinsis may have just had the worst mullet we've ever seen, and not just in the NBA. The back of his head was softer than a pillow, and when he went up and down the court, everyone behind him could feel the breeze. There may have been a time when mullets were popular, but we don't believe this style was ever in. Sadly, the NBA player passed away only a decade after his retirement at the young age of 43. We're in the top five. At number five, Joakim Noah. It would be fantastic if we could say that Joakim Noah was simply a misguided young person, but this horrible hairstyle didn't stop here. It's hard to tell if this is actually his head hair or if he's ever learned how to clean his ears. His long, unruly hair is spread messily all over his head, making it hard to figure out where it starts from where it ends. If this was an intentional hairstyle, then we don't know what style he was going for. It doesn't really come under the category of fashion. No matter what, the good thing about this hairstyle is that it makes it easy to sneak snacks into movie theaters. Now, at number 4, Scott Pollard. Scott Pollard surprised everyone in basketball when he played his last minutes in the NBA in 2006-2007, a year before he retired. His hairstyle, if you can consider it that, was kind of strange. Not only did he have a small yellow Mohican on his head, but he also had two small ponytails on his beard. Pollard, a journeyman backup center, had more fun with his hair than any other NBA player. He's had a mohawk, a single ponytail, and a double ponytail, among other hairstyles. He's 
also lost his hair. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Pollard played for the Sacramento Kings with players like Vlade Divac, Chris Webber, Jason Williams, and Peja Stojakovic. The Kings called him Samurai Scott because he had different styles of hair. He didn't play like a samurai, that's for sure. He didn't have many offensive moves. His main goals were to get offensive rebounds and stop the other team's centers, which he did very well. We'll miss his hair for now, or not, depending on how he feels. At number 3, Vladimir Rodmanovich. Vladimir Rodmanovich played with a lot of seriousness during his 12 seasons in the NBA. However, in his first years on the court, when he made his premiere at age 21 with the Seattle Supersonics, the Bosnian didn't seem to be very sure of himself in some parts of his work life. The picture he gave us after his first few games in the league is proof of that. The last good year for the Sonics as a team was way back in 2005. They shocked the league that year by making it to the second round of the playoffs, where they lost by a small margin to the Spurs, who went on to win the title. But when the playoffs first started, fans weren't talking about that. They were in awe at Radmanovic's new braids. The best part? The green and gold rubber bands, which were the colors of the team. At number 2, Ron Artest, aka Meta World Peace. No matter what you call him, Ron Artest or Meta World Peace doesn't matter for our list. The guy who played in the NBA for 18 years is one of the most flashy and controversial players in the league's history. This is something that his many haircuts also showed. In the 2009 playoffs, he had patterns shaved on one side of his head and the rocket symbol on the other. Along with a good game, he always brings a hairstyle that'll become the talk of the match. No matter with performance, he definitely manages to get the cameras flashing in his direction. In addition to the Chinese characters that can be seen on his head, Meta World Peace made his stylist stand out for a long time. Have you ever seen better advertising than this? Finally, at number 1, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman's hairstyle is without a doubt one of the worst in the history of the league. During his NBA career, the worm's hair showed hundreds of different colors. This was a clear sign of how extravagant he was, both on and off the court. His hair has never stayed the same color for a long time, giving us the impression that he might dye it with whichever color he fancies at the moment. How his hair is still fine after all that dye is a big mystery for sure. He's had orange and green hair, full red, rainbow colors, purple and pink combination, and whatnot. Not only colors, but he's had weird patterns drawn on his head too. He sported zigzag lines, symbols, and other strange styles. Rodman is one of the weirdest prominent people in basketball. He won the award on this list unanimously and is also number one on other lists. That's a wrap for this video. Which haircut did you like the least? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.